Hello everyone, welcome to the Brogan Ridge Golf Channel. First of all, thank you so much for clicking on the video. It's greatly appreciated. In this video, I'm gonna give an overview how I put an 18 hole par 58 golf course on my five and a half acres. There's seven bent grass greens and 13 tee boxes. Each nine holes has seven par threes and two par fours, which surprisingly has been playing to everyone's handicap. So that makes me pretty happy. But what makes me even more happy, I'm able to do all this, including all the equipment to maintain it, which includes two greens mowers, a fairway mower, a blower sprayer, and a greens roller for less than $15,000. So stay tuned. More happy? Really? Oh, well, well, you do. If you can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun of? So anyways, I just want to take a quick second, introduce myself. I'm just a normal guy. I have no agronomy background. I have no formal training or anything like that. So I'm just a normal guy. And I decided to put in some greens at my house. So if you have ever thought about or was thinking about putting in a green at your house, natural that is, not artificial, then hopefully this is the channel for you. Even though this first video is a year in review, 2022, and then I'll have another 2023 year in review, I'd like to be a source of information for anybody that's wanting to do this on how to do it, what to expect, what equipment do you need, things like that. So if you could help me out, like, subscribe, forward the link, word of mouth, anything uh, to get this channel going, I'd appreciate it. So enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Take care. All right, back to the video. Here's an aerial view. There's the seven greens, labeled one through seven. That way you know which one you're going to. Have 13 tee boxes, again, labeled one through 13, so you know where you're coming from. Here's a scorecard, 18 holes. Um, I'll show you an example of a couple holes here. So the first one, number 15, it's a par 4, T1 to G6. You hit 155 yards or so out to the fairway, across trees and water, and then back across the driveway to a little green that slopes away from you. Pretty tough hole. Another example is a par 3, number 11, 125 yards straight shot. The green itself slopes back to you, so you want to definitely be below the hole here. Here's a video. This is league night, early 2023, probably, I don't know, May or June-ish. So, you can see here one of the shots, an example of what we have here. Had to come up with a name. A neighbor came up with Brogan's Ridge. I like that. He made me a sign, so I appreciate that. We also came up with the logo. We have some hummingbirds around here. Uh, with the house back there. It wasn't always a golf course. You used to have a racetrack. I used to watch NASCAR quite a bit, so why not put a track in, have some go-karts, stuff like that. Of course, always had a mower. So here it is. We have the Bobcat Zero Turn. You know, that's the original. I'm not really counting any costs on that one because I already had it. But decided, what the heck, let's have a close to the pin party. Let's just mow everything down as tight as I can get it. Tees in the green areas. And then have it close to the pen. Why not? So you can see some paint. Help out a little bit. And then boom. Look what I found on Facebook Marketplace. My first greens mower. So I just went out there and just scalped them down as tight as I can get it. Watered them so that it would hold a little bit. Right? So it was fun. And there it is. Closest. First closest to the pen event. It was a good time. But then it's time to get serious. February 2022 went ahead and laid out where I would need some tile work because there's some low areas that needed some water runoff really bad it was frozen rock solid so I figured what the heck let's get on it don't tear up the grass and still get the trenching in I had to put a chain against that or on that excavator and get it against trees keep me from sliding but hey we got it done plus a buddy of mine came over to help me dig 850 feet worth so here's the pictures and you know images of all the tiling that we put in so there you go first thing 4500 bucks in but not too bad so here's what it looked like after we um, we got everything put back together and this is how i started basically use sand from your local quarry it has to match your native soil don't just bring in placed sand till that in as much as you can i mean just till until until mix it up level it out like you want get your uh, seed down i use pencross creeping bent 
roll it again that was in March and water it and then here's some out front that I did not use tile in so I call push up basically bring in soil sand and you put it in your existing soil and it elevates it or raises it up I just took a disc straight don't angle them just slice as much as I can took uh, an aerator punched as many holes as I could brought my sand in leveled it out seeded it in April my ones out front with creeping bent rolled it watered it and seen what happened right and look at there in May I started to get some grass growing I'm excited there's the one that had the trench cut all through it and everything through May so pretty happy about there there's the one up front that has a little smiley face drain I actually have some grass going right here it is June I'm really excited I'm out there I mean if you look right real close at them they're pretty spotty you know what I mean but for now I'm pretty happy early June July things are going good look at that I'm happy and then BAM crabgrass mid-July I mean crabgrass out the wazoo this is out front where that native soil was so crabgrass everywhere I learned a lot so I'm making a video on how to do this take care of this the only way to get it out start digging it out so get your drinks get your music going pop it out that's terrible but hey I got a better way for you so look at that video here's what it looks like after digging it all out it's awful I was feeling bad this is one that I was able to spray but I was a little late you still have to dig the carcasses out but it it helped so please check that video out so after watering recovering a little bit guess what else happened oh no I started getting fungus and bugs and then after that bug more bugs so again time to get serious I need to get a sprayer started talking to my local superintendents around here which I should have done up front started making a game plan a good maintenance game plan which really helped that would have saved me a lot of time if I knew that up front but what do you do late August early, early September things are starting to come back I'm pretty happy with it um, so be patient when this when this stuff happens it will come back I went ahead and got a fairway mower at that point a T fairway approach mower whatever you want to call it my buddy came over with his backhoe and helped me out. We cut through the trees here so I can add some more shots. So, appreciate that. And that was a big help. Here's from the road back to the green behind the barn. 117 yard shot between the trees. This is, you know, looking back to the road. Neighbors gave us a bridge. He happened to be getting rid of one over there. So, I appreciate that. There's my awesome wife cleaning it off. She's the best in the world. Now look at that looking good now we can cross the creek there so and have some new holes there's an aerial view about this time you can see the bridge you can see the green starting to come in a little better i got some fairways way better mid-september learning a lot but look at that i'm starting to actually feel like hey this might work holy moly so starting to come in so time for the annual party this year had a hole in one shot for 10,000 bucks on a hole, 135 yards. Nobody got it. But that's okay, it was fun. So really end of September and November, I just kept working on it. Um, you can see the bridge starting to get put together, taking out some trees. Here's a shot from the, the aerial view or the elevated T. It was not done then. Had to level out some T boxes. Had to get me a water you know a sprinkler high pressure pump because that little one that i had just wasn't cutting it right now so trying to water here comes fall there's the sprinkler it's way better than the small one i can cover about a quarter acre with about three eighths of an inch or so in about 15 minutes um, so it helped some the leaves had to get me a little wonder blower found this again off marketplace holy moly 450 bucks that was dirt cheap and it runs great so wow what a year crazy year looking good though I'm excited going into the next year um, went ahead and got me an eclipse 2 mower holy smokes 250 bucks for the trailer and everything it didn't work but i was able to get it fixed um so really 2022 hate to 
buzz through this real fast but that's a wrap for 2022 so stay tuned i'm going to make a video about crabgrass and other weeds how do you take care of that so you don't freak out and you don't have to do what i did that was awful to uh, deal with here i am putting it to bed at the end of 2023 so please check out brogan ridge golf 2023 greens become legit had to get serious about some water management more equipment storm damage league night drought all that stuff in 2023 so and a hole in one on closest to the pin so please check that video out and please like and subscribe um, forward the link old school word of mouth whatever is appreciated but most of all thank you thank you so much for watching this video and take care